Hey guys, welcome back to the chemistry group where today we are doing something weird with eggs. In this video, we'll be making calcium acetate. So, how many of you guys sat around your house eating something? Well, eating an egg specifically and wondering what kind of reactions would an egg do? Not, not, not many people, but I did. I took this egg with this natural face on it. I did not draw it, trust me. I don't have a pencil. I don't. <laughs> then I studied it carefully. Top, bottom, front, and going to the back, I noticed it was made from calcium carbonate. I kept the egg down, took its brother, pulverized it, and then I put it in vinegar. This huge bottle of imperial vinegar, 750 milliliters, would be the death of his brother. Just kidding. When you put vinegar in that, vinegar is acetic acid. That is calcium carbonate. So you have a reaction. So this is what happens. Calcium carbonate plus the acetic acid gives calcium acetate plus carbon dioxide. In the language of common people, eggshell, plus vinegar, give dissolved eggshell, plus a C with two O's, carbon dioxide. So this will be converted into dissolved this and a gas. That should be enough. And as soon as you put the vinegar inside it, the calcium carbonate or the eggshell will start to react with it. Sooner or later, bubbles will form and the eggshells will rise to the top. Like that. The egg membrane will not be dissolved because it is not made up of any ionic compound. It is a protein shell. So, right there. Yep. All of the eggs will float upwards. You don't want that. So, you have to constantly stir it. So leave it for a day or two and most of it will be calcium acetate. Also it is a normal acid base reaction so there should be no vinegar like smell left. And if you have no smell like that, it's an indication that the reaction is complete. This is YouTube, we don't have one day. So we prepared some. So here is the bulk calcium acetate. This was made by these eggshells. We recycle the eggshells. So now all you have to do is boil this. But since we destroyed a beaker and another beaker is practically in use for a future video related to this one, we will use the pot of science. Technically it's a pan. If you are wondering how I did that, pick it up, tilt it. Take it to the kitchen, put it on the stove or hot plate and let's boil it. If there is vinegar still present in it, don't worry. Vinegar will boil off with the water, leaving no residue. And it won't create any toxic gases. So chill out and wait for it to boil. It will take quite some time. Shit, the lights went out. I know, it, it was scary. So, as you can see, after some time for boiling, well, nearly 30 seconds after the light went out, there will be some crystals forming. Those crystals are the calcium acetate that we're looking for. Sorry, those crystals are the calcium acetate that we're looking for. My tongue slipped. crystals can be seen much clearly and also it will start to foam up a little but that is just because of a reason that I don't know I won't even try explaining it so just take all of the water out and since we were lazy we had quite a lot of vinegar left do not try to dilute it by using sodium bicarbonate or else it will form sodium acetate and sort of ruin your calcium acetate if you will 
that it was. Mind the dogs. And here is what is left of the calcium acetate. And also, I am really sorry, but as you know, the lights went out. So yeah. Now this calcium acetate is quite wet. We'll just let it dry on high heat. And this, just like some other wet salts, will spew in your faces. But not as violently. It only sometimes does that. Right now we just uh, slowed the heat to let most of the water boil off. And hence it just formed one solid chip. And right here. You can see on the knife it has also crystallized. And now we are going to put it back inside. Now uh, if you don't hurry, this powder actually gets harder. Okay, this is much better. Now you can just scrape it off. So guys, here is the calcium acetate that we managed to get. And I stored it in this vial. And actually there is more surplus of it, but I had to throw it away. Because I contaminated it for some reason. That's how you make your calcium acetate. That will be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button down below. Subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified when I upload new videos. Bye.